Well, my friends, here we are. March the 2nd, and it's snowing again. So let's see what we can get up to today and have a little enjoyment. I think that uh, there is something that is very important, and that is how to control your own mind. That's a big deal. How to control your own mind. How to become a success. How to become the best that you can be. I'm going to give you some insights in how to think. <laughs> That's right. This will be the way for you to attain success in your own life. And I'm going to show you or teach you how to think for your own benefit. Anyhow, it's a beautiful snowy day. Let's get started. Well, my friends, I was asked last week, how do you relax when you're holding a bow? This fellow just felt like it was impossible. Uh, I can't remember his name. I, I was going to, I tried to find the message, but I couldn't find it, so I, I'm not going to address him by name, but he'll know who it is. He was talking about having sore fingers and not being able to relax. Well, as far as sore fingers, get a deeper hook. Grab it in there instead of out there. That will take pressure off your fingers. Also, get a good glove, something that's thick, and then you won't strain your hands. But as far as the relaxation, that's an art, and uh, that's meditation. I've done meditation for years and years and years, so I know how to relax. You know, it's basically take a breath, breathe in slowly, fill up your stomach and your chest, pause for a second, and then breathe out. Sometimes words like Om, you know, Odin, Allah, all these kind of sounds that will make your stomach relax. You know, if you go Om, you can feel your stomach relax. So that's one thing. But I'm going to show you a technique uh, so that you can start to figure this out because it does take time and uh, it's very important uh, to know how to meditate and relax can make you a millionaire. You know, I'm a, a multi-millionaire. I own six properties. I have rental properties. And I also have a tattoo supply business and an archery business. And to achieve this, I did it because I know how to relax. I know how to meditate. I know how to think positively. Before that, I would, uh, when I was a young guy, I would almost accomplish something, but not quite. You know, almost get there, but not quite. Until I learned to relax. And then things start to fall in place. So I'm going to show you uh, a basis or a basic way of relaxing right now. And if you start to practice this and use self-talk, positive self-talk, uh, you too can achieve whatever you want in life. Okay, now we'll be back in a minute. Well, my lord, welcome aboard. The march of a thousand miles begins with the first step. Welcome. Come in. Something that we need to address is our mental health, our strength of mind. To conquer the world, we need strength of mind. So I am going to speak now about ways in which you can strengthen your mind and think correctly. Many of us do not think correctly. We do not think positively. And we do not realize certain things about our minds. For instance, very few realize that thought is habit forming. And that if we think positively, we will get into the habit of thinking positively. And if we think negatively, we will get into the habit of thinking negatively. And you can't change just from one to the other in a split second. Oh, certainly you can. You know, you're happy. Your house just burnt down. You're unhappy. That's sudden. But what I'm talking about is our own mental attitude towards the world. And one of the things I've come to realize is that if you spend more time 
thinking positive thoughts, complimentary thoughts, you will become complimentary to yourself. If you think about negative thoughts to yourself, you will eventually become that way. And of course, get depressed and jump off a bridge. So what we're going to do is start to think about positive or ways of being positive. For instance, the body is a reflection of the mind and the mind is a reflection of the body. They go together. When the body's hungry, the mind feels hunger. It's as simple as that. When the body's cold, the mind feels cold. So what we need to do is to figure out ways in which our body will affect our mind. For instance, just now, smile. Just smile. And that smile, if you feel your stomach, like, leave a straight face, be conscious of your stomach, now, smile. And you should feel your tummy relax a little bit. That's a reflection of, in your your central nervous system, one thing affecting the other. Okay? The, uh, the thing is that in the ancient world, far before there was humans, our earliest ancestors were like, like a worm, like a little long fish. It had a mouth and it had an ass. And basically it was just a digestive system that went straight through this little, this little worm, this long, thin worm. Well, we are the same makeup as that worm, only now the mouth is connected through the throat and through the stomach and, you know, the, the small intestine and the big intestine. But if you stretched it all out, it would be just the same type of creature, that simple little worm. So, because of that, and this might seem <laughs> funny, but our mouth is connected to our ass through our digestive system, just like that mouth. Now, the, if we open up our mouth, you will also find that your stomach will relax. And if you pull on the cheek of your ass, pull your cheeks of your ass apart slightly, you will feel that your sphincter muscle will relax and then your stomach will relax. So what I'm getting at here is if we want to control our body by opening our mouth, by relaxing our sphincter, we will relax our body. And in doing that, we will be able to think positive thoughts in a relaxed way. Now this may seem like an odd way of approaching it, but we're getting right back to the very basics, okay? So those are uh, something that I want you to realize. Also, the mouth opening, relaxing the tummy, the anus being relaxed, relaxing the tummy, allows us to think in a relaxed way. And this is very important. We're going to get into being able to lie flat and do the dead man posture and learn how to relax and breathe in. But at first, we're just going to realize that this is all connected, the mouth, the digestive tract. And, uh, and you know, in a way, you may be able to, you may be able to see something like this. Uh, did you ever see those ancient drawings of, uh, let's say, the, you know, the, the, the Buddha? And they would draw little lines through there, you know? You've seen things like that. That's the, the, the center of relaxation, you know? This is your mind, okay? This is your chest. And these are all areas that you can uh, uh, learn to relax as you get into this farther. The head is also a reflection of the body. This is your ass. This is your genitals. Okay? These are your lungs. 
these are your shoulders and this is your head now that may seem like a peculiar thing to say but in all honesty the if you have dark under here you probably got problems with your lungs you know uh, so uh, that's a little bit of a hard concept but the head is a reflection of the body and we're going to teach the body to relax so that we can enjoy life a little bit because if we get into the habit of always thinking oh you know I'm no good I'm no good you you'll start to think that after a while so what we need to do is on a daily basis say hundreds of times say it I feel good smile your tummy will relax I feel good I feel good I feel good take a breath breathe out slowly uh, you know, there's so many holy words too, like there's the, uh, the, the Om, that's a famous one, you know, you breathe in, you go, Om, and you do it, you'll feel your tummy relax, but there's a lot of sounds like Odin, Amen, Jesus, Allah, Om, these are all the same kind of sounds, and these little vibrations make us relax, so, um, uh, anyhow, um, I'll be back and explain a bit more of this in a minute. <laughs> okay. Okay, now my friends, I'm going to show you a basic way of meditating. Now, this is called, sometimes it's called the dead man posture, but basically it just is lie flat on the floor with your legs slightly open. Make sure that the cheeks of your ass aren't pinched together, so just pull them apart so that your stomach can relax and basically lie down. Now, when you lie down, everything starts to relax. Put your arms by your side and basically now what we do is we take a breath. So we breathe in, fill up the tummy, allow the chest to fill up, and then slowly let your breath out. When you do that, you'll feel your stomach relax. Now, if you lie there and breathe slowly and allow yourself to relax, within about 15 to 20 minutes, you will become completely relaxed. At that time, you introduce thoughts into your into your mind but they will go into your mind with a relaxed body so your thoughts will be relaxed so you start thinking about how uh, you want to improve your archery or uh, maybe you're anxious about uh, getting a driver's license so you you think oh you know, breathe and get calm and then think, driver's license. Breathe and get calm and think, driver's license. Breathe and get calm and as you breathe out, think, driver's license. And eventually you will become conditioned to thinking about your driver's license in a relaxed way. But you can think about, you know, how good you can fuck your girlfriend. You can think about how good you can make money. You can think about how good you could box. You could think about all kinds of stuff, but it's positive, right? So you breathe in, fill up the tummy, fill up the chest, and then breathe out. And you can say, Oh, or oh, Jesus, whatever kind of a sound you want to make, as long as it's oh, oh, okay? So that is a good way of doing it. And if you do that two or three times a day over a period of weeks and months, you will become a very powerful person. You can change your whole personality. You can go from being a depressed person to a happy person. You really can. So anyhow, that's the basis. Now, so other things that go along with this are, again, 
your mind is a reflection of your body. If you're really uptight, you're thinking uptight thoughts. If you learn to relax your tummy, your sphincter muscle, open your mouth, you will relax. If you can spend, over time, hundreds of hours thinking, I feel good, I feel good, I feel good, I feel good. Eventually, believe it or not, you will start to feel good. You will not be depressed. You will not be unhappy. You'll be able to think about your life, about your children in a, in a relaxed way, about your in-laws in a relaxed way, about making money in a relaxed way. And in doing this, you will be able to achieve great things. So uh, that's a little start on it. And uh, I'll tell you some more uh, in a little while. Okay? Okay. Well, my friends, you know, another concept is having a, a happy space to go to. Pick a thought that makes you happy, and that will be your happy space. Uh, for me, I simply think of the blue sky. If I think of the blue sky, I relax and feel good. And this idea of having a happy place is very important. Now, the last time I got arrested, and I was completely innocent. You know, the cops take you 2 o'clock in the morning down to the cells. They take your coat. They take off your boots. They take everything. They take your shoelaces so you can't hang yourself. They turn up the air conditioning so it's just freezing. So you got snot just running out of your face. Because in Canadian jails, it's meant to torture you. It's not meant to help you. And you are guilty until proven innocent. I've been there. Anyhow, there I am. You know, it's like... Two in the morning, three in the morning, four in the morning, and you're lying on a steel bed and you're just fucking freezing. You know what I did? I thought about the sky. And I kept saying to myself, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. And I was okay. In the morning, I came out of my cell and went to court, and I was okay. You know, I can remember opening my one eye and, and looking. I could see a crack on the wall. And I was thinking, oh, that's a neat-looking crack they got over there. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. And I got through it, you see. So if you're into a bad spot and you have mental strength, you can get through things. You don't have to pray to God to save you. You can save yourself by thinking in a calm, collected way. Anyhow, having a, a, a special place to go to in your mind where you feel comfortable is also a big help. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a minute. Well, my friends, so again, the, the mind and the body are connected. And the body is reflection, or the mind is reflection of the body. So remember, if you smile, your mind thinks it's happy. If you relax, your mind thinks it's happy. If you frown, grit your teeth, your mind will think you're unhappy. So what you need to do is spend more time simply overpower unhappiness. Say, I am happy. Don't say, I'm unhappy. Say, I am happy. I am happy. I am happy. Repeat it over and over again. Hundreds of times a day. Hundreds of times a week. Hundreds of times a month. Thousands of times a year. And you will gain control of your mind and your mind will start to become happy. You may not think that this is a fact, but it's a fact. You are in control of your own destiny. I give you your freedom. You are in control of your own destiny. So train your body. Train your mind. And you will win the battle. Bingo! <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> Tell yourself you're okay. 
Think about it. The more you smile, the more positive thoughts you're going to have. Doesn't sound like much, does it? It's the most important thing I ever taught myself in my life. It's the secret of my success. Believe it or not. That's, that's a fact, you know. Don't get it back until it's right back and just let her go, you know. You can uh, put the tip on, and if you put the tip right on, when you get it back to here, let go, because the tip's on, the back's on. It's really very simple, though it's very hard to do, <laughs> you know? But just bring it in, right, and bingo, right in there. Of course, it helps if you've done a half a million shots or so, too. A little practice. Yep. Mind control. Another thing that... Uh, comes in very handy also is medication and meditation. I'm a strong believer in smoking marijuana, cannabis, pot, boo, herb. Herb is a good name for it. It is an herb and it's the best herb I've ever seen. If you take three puffs and really don't smoke the whole joint, just smoke three tokes. That'd be plenty. You'll be off. You'll be relaxed. And if you take a few puffs and you get relaxed and you lie down and you do your meditation and you start to think positively about how you can do it, uh, or if you want to be a businessman, how uh, you can make money, you will start to move towards that. So there's a, a lot of things in life, you know. Uh, there's masturbation. That can make you weak. You know, a celibate has a better chance than uh, a guy who's blowing his energy out his tube. You know, uh, it, it's just a fact. So th there's being a celibate. There's uh, a good diet. You know, I, I never eat sugar, never eat salt. There's lots in my food. Anyhow, anything you buy has got that in there. So I, I don't bother with that. I don't eat candies or anything like that. Basically, meat and potatoes does me more good than all these other things. So I find that to be healthy, the less processed your food, the better for you. You know, salami is not as good as a piece of a steak. You know, so the more processed your food, the more salted it is, the more chance of getting cancer and all these these, these diseases goes up. Okay, so that's another thing. So here we are, we're talking about eating clean food, going to bed at night. You need about seven or eight hours sleep. If you're not getting it, you're not getting it. So you need your rest. I know it's boring, but you need your rest. Go to sleep. It's okay to have a toke. I don't recommend alcohol. Or these kind of drugs. Uh, I haven't had a drink in uh, almost 50 years. <laughs> the very first night I ever tried smoking a joint, I went, whoa, this is great. And I quit drinking that night, <laughs> you know. And, but I've smoked ever since, and I feel that it's okay. I, I, even though it's against the law, and, uh, you know, fuck the laws. Who made them up anyhow? They're not on our side. They're controlling us. So, if you want to be uh, a happy person, uh, eat clean food, unsalted, unsugared, natural foods, fruits, and vegetables, and meat. That's good stuff. Uh, do your meditation. Lie down, relax, and when you get relaxed after, you know, 
15 or 20 minutes, introduce these positive thoughts. If you can spend more time thinking positive thoughts, you will overpower the negative thoughts. You will not be as depressed when you get depressed. And if you do get depressed, you'll come out of it because you can think your way out of things. You know, so we're going to do meditation. We're going to do medication. We're going to eat good. We're going to sleep good. And we're going to practice. And in the end, we're going to have a great life. <laughs> really, that's how you do it. It's so simple. It's so simple. Oh, and if you want to get rich, don't work for people. You know, don't work for people if you want to get rich. You'll only get rich working for yourself. It's true. Most jobs, if you look at them in a way, are almost a form of slavery. You know, it's like when we had slaves, uh, you had to buy the, 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 them, the family, the, the slaves. You had to house them. If they died, you were out your money. Uh, they may hate you anyhow because they're slaves. It wasn't a really good thing. So the smart economists thought, okay, let's give them their freedom. But we'll only give them enough money to get from work back and forth to work, right? Just their food and work. So, and if they die, we don't have to take care of them or worry them. We just hire another one. You know, so these modern jobs and economic systems are not to your benefit. They will fucking drive you crazy. They will make you insane. They are so unnatural, so unnatural from the natural rhythms of life that, that they will screw up people, you know. So, again, I'm talking a lot, but... Relax. Learn to relax. Learn to relax your tummy. Learn to take a breath, fill up, and then breathe out slowly, and you will become calm. Anyhow, I guess that's enough for now. Talk to you later. <laughs> okay. Okay, my friends, so just so that we can pretend this is about archery, I'm going to take a couple of shots. Today, all I'm doing is putting the arrow on the center line and drawing to here. That's all. But I am making sure that the uh, tip is on the center line this time, okay? Because sometimes I don't. I just get it back, roll it on, you know? But this time we're going to uh, put it on right away and draw. Okay. So it's just, see, when we get it back here, Bingo! That's how hard it is, you know? Just put it on the center line so you know the tip is on the center line and get it back to here and let go. And I haven't shown you a picture for a while, but no. You see? You see that? On the center line, get back to your anchor, let go. <laughs> okay. Have fun. I'll talk to you later. Keep meditating. Keep meditating. <laughs> okay, bye now.